Newcastle last night, I did a watch along on that's football. What a prime example of what a change to a football club can do. Two years ago, Newcastle were in a relegation battle. They looked like they were going to go down. And at Christmas, I think I said two years ago, they're going down. They haven't got anywhere near enough points halfway through the season to stay up. Saudi Arabia came in. They went on an amazing run. Set full season in charge. They're in the Champions League. Second season in charge. They're beating PSG 4-1 at home, deservedly so. So for all those people who are thinking, oh, Sir Jim or Glazers or Glazers stay, there is an opportunity for Manchester United to come back. They won't come back tomorrow, but there is an opportunity for Manchester United to come back. And, you know, whether you like that ownership model or not, watching Newcastle last night, the crowd, the team's not even... You know, they haven't got Kylian Mbappe, Mbappe playing for them yet, but the team ethic, the stadium, the buzz, the story... It's not unachievable for Manchester United, but we need to remove what the problem has been for the last 15 to 20 years. What really struck a chord with me, and it really does fit in with what we were talking about there, is Dan Burns, no, Dan Burns not going to go down as one of the left back, best left backs in Premier League history, and neither Sean Longstaff. But the way Eddie Howe gets those players to play for that team that is balanced and a unit. And we see, we see it with Brighton. We see it with Aston Villa. I don't know the maths, but I would say Brighton and Aston Villa, you can certainly put their first 11 combined wages and it still wouldn't touch the sides of our first 11. How is that even a thing? You know, go back to Newcastle last night. And this is not rocket science. You know, Eddie Howe is not a better coach than Eric Ten Hag in relation to technicality and his vision. But where he is a better coach is that he has players that are 100% motivated and focused to do a job for him and the team and the fans. And we don't have that. Technically, those Newcastle players will not be as good individually as the players that we've got. But collectively, they absolutely devour what Man United are. They are a sum of their parts and they know their job and there is no ego. And if they go 1-0 down... I don't, I don't really think you'll see Newcastle ever get beat 5-0 by Liverpool. 